hello hello familia welcome welcome my name is magdalene janet if you're new welcome to the fam please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on tiktok and Insta because i'm there daily and of course welcome back to my oldie for goodies so fam like i told you i switched up my lighting i'm kind of liking it shout out to my friend christina here on youtube she kind of told me about lighting i was like oh thank you girl we're talking about brows today so let's try these so urban decay released two brow products one clear gel and then one volumizing builded tinted gel that has fibers i'm thinking similar to the nyx one that released maybe like two years ago i'm gonna do a two-day wear test so i can use one one day the other one the other day for some reason i thought they were kind of the same i don't know what i was thinking as you can see these are my brows i do have sparse brows somehow i'm missing a big chunk here i don't know why that that tends to happen sometimes your brows look nice and then the next day literally something's missing i have sparse brows my brows go down along with this hair needs to come down they're quite stubborn they're kind of short i love brows and i like to really construct a brow you guys know i always remove any sort of moisturizer anything that is gonna make the brows slippery because you want the product to stick on the hair if it's slippery it's most likely not going to stick or you'll have to use more product this is called the big bush brow oh the big bush brow that's funny okay let's open it comes in a bunch of shades oh yes it is that fiber-esque spoolie okay i like that that will give you that 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 thing but when it comes to these i'm always really careful because my brows aren't thick and they're very light and fine certain products could really take over if you go super heavy-handed i'm naturally like a heavy-handed girl lids kind of you see you see? So sometimes it feels wet. You want to just kind of get product off, especially if you have brows like mine. I want to just kind of go in slowly. I'm going to blend that thing out. It's building well. And then lightly, I'm going to start going up. These tend to dry. That fiber kind of gives you like a fluffy look. Yeah. Okay. These types of fiber gels, I really like to get in there. And once I have product, you really want to start like pressing it down, shaping the brow a little bit. Oh, that looks good. This color is nice. I'm going to get some of my Kosar Rex micellar water and clean it up. You see that up there? If you have thicker brows, this isn't too bad. It's because I have very fine brows. You know, things could like look a little intense. Okay, I'm gonna go again, but this time we'll really get that product off. And I wanna start like here. It has great pigment and it's not overwhelming. The fact that my brows look good, like just a quick pasadita, you know? I can see the fiber-esque in this. That's what kind of gives you that appearance of a fluffier brow. You see that? I like this. Oh, it's natural too. Natural. I do have some spots because this won't get all my sparse areas, which is fine. So I'm gonna get the brow blade in the shade Cafe Kitty. A pencil on a pen. The pencil's nice. It's a really cafe shade. This is probably too light for me. Wait, do I have another one? Hold on. Do not. Let's see how this looks. Because we have like a darker base, let's say. Let's see how this works. Oh yeah, it's working well. This is nice. And it's so freaking thin. It's truly like a blade. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to kind of bring my brows like this. Lately, I've been making them longer when I finish my makeup. You know how I typically do this motion? And okay, this brow. Ooh, this brow is browing. Let's get here. No lie, this is easy. I didn't really realize how easy this was going to be. Girl, look at this before and after, though. That's nice. And it's like a, it's a good brown. I typically go darker than this. Not bad. Let's do a little clean a -roo. You guys know this has been my combo for a while now. When you clean up your brows, you want to use a concealer or maybe even a foundation. Anything that has a bit of a thicker texture because that thick texture will stick down and make your lines really sharp. Lightweight, watery concealer can move things around. It won't work as well. I find that both of these are great. This one's really good. This one's just really light. So that's why I mix it. If I had the right shade, I would just use this one by itself. You guys, I just uploaded the vlog last night. I'm on four hours of sleep. I loved it. It was such a great vlog. Oh, and I'm still, I'm like singing still. Okay, I'm gonna tilt my head back, clean it up, follow the shape of my brow, making sure I'm not touching this concealer with the product I just placed. Because then you're gonna get like a gray weird shadow. And now I'm just gonna blend out. I like to blend down. The fact that these brows just came on so fast, I love. And I'm gonna get my pen and get this little tiny spot here. Like that. My brow looks super bushy. Bush, but look at, 
<gasps> look dang so i'm gonna apply this brow and then give you info about this because oh i'm excited this is a test if this one comes out well the new urban decay big bush volumizing tinted brow gel retail for 28 dollars. it comes in nine shades this is a waterproof tinted eyebrow gel with volumizing fibers that build shape tint and keeps your brows in place for 24 hours highlighted ingredient is castor oil this is cruelty free i have the shade dark drape Fam, brows are browing. I really like how these look. They look very similar. That's always like the, you know, telltale sign. Although your brows are not exactly the same. This one's more round. I don't know this time around. And the tail, the tail ain't tailing. <laughs> but for the most part, they're like, they're sisters. Same mom and dad. They're not distant cousins. So let's do a test. What time is it? 9.20? You guys know I'm gonna be here all day long. Let me finish up the face. I'll be back. These are the brows. Look how beautiful they look. I didn't touch them up or anything. This is how they look. I mean, since I left you, it's been like two hours. Oh, this color is beautiful. You see the fluffy fiber-esque thingy? Yeah. I like how full they are because, you know, I lack fullness. Of course, let's start the wear test. Oh, my lip combo right here. Limitless Brown, Horchata from Urban Decay, and Bangin' Bear, Duck Plump, you know, NYX. And yeah, let's go in front of the window. Brows are browning. Look at this. This is the first brow, second brow. You can't tell me these fluffy, bushy brows are not cute. And you see the color in daylight. You can really see the natural brown. It's a good undertone. Fam, I'm back. It is 10 o'clock. Eyebrows have been on all day, but you know, I got some footage for you at around five o'clock, I think. Show you how the brows were looking and oh my gosh, looking so good. Going strong, not a hair budge. They still look super full and fluffy. Look how good they look. Nothing is budging. You see the pigment is there. Girl, this, this is a yes. I really love how the product really got into the brows and is laying the brows down. Oh my God, I can't speak. I'm so tired. I just love everything about it. A lot of times I feel like these fibers or brow thingies get super, super messy and they take over my brows, which is when I have to do a lot of cleanup, but I didn't feel like this happened with this one. And the fact that these brows are still on, this is a heck yes. You know, I have oily skin. I don't ever touch up my makeup when I'm doing a wear test. Urban Decay did the damn thing. Oh, so good. I was just looking at them like, dang. They look bold and beautiful. They don't look bold where it's too much, where my eyebrows are like taking over everything. You know what I'm saying? I will insert the second day footage using the clear brow gel. The Urban Decay Slick Day Stronghold Clear Brow Gel retail for $28. This is a clear brow gel with max hold and a unique dual-sided applicator that tames, styles, and laminates brows for up to 24 hours without residue or flakes. Both available at Ulta and Sephora. What if we use this? Let's see, just a little bit. Oh, it's working. Not bad, huh? So on this eye, let's just use the slick one and see. Okay, I'm jumping in. This is really pointy. Be careful, so tiny. It really detangles all your hairs. And you can really just kind of sit here because it doesn't dry quick. Oh, you see, this is what you're talking about, combed. Yeah. To even it out, I'ma use my pencil. Ooh, ooh. Okay, Urban Decay did the thing because wow. So it is 8.38. Okay fam, brows day numero dos. So this is the brow with the gel. Why do I like it? A lot. 
It's not crunchy. It doesn't even feel hard. I feel like it's very close to got to be. Something about it, it just lays so well. This is the brow with both, which is not bad. This combo, you know, it, it's a combo. Wow, these brow products are impressive. Very impressive. Whew! And look, the brows, they look slightly different. Like this one really does look slick back combed. Literally in the name, slick day brow versus this one is the bushy with the fiber-esque, you know? Not too bushy because we did use the slickness of it, but girl, brows, brows, brows just do something to the face. I just, ugh, I love it. Do a quick wear test. I'll probably pop in and then we'll resume the outro. Eyebrows, here is the slick. Here's the slick and fiber. You see the difference? Damn. Wow. Let's see. Familia, this is day two for the brows. So this is the sleek, the gel, and then the one we use the gel and the fiber one. They look really good. This gel, I think it's better than the ABH. I just love how flat the lashes, the lashes, the brows look. Let me know if you want to see a showdown because Urban Decay did their thing with these brow products. I love them. So good. Have you gotten this? I know this released about a month ago. Let me know your thoughts on this. Did you get it? Are you planning on getting it? Do you use Urban Decay makeup? Let me know. And thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!